Welcome everybody to my latest video. So here we are and if you watched the last video I posted about this PCB uh, you might remember I told you that I would be showing you guys how to properly set this up in your cabinet. Now as you can see I kinda just made my own little base here for the game board itself. Probably can't see it but I actually used um, God, what's, what's that stuff called? Uh, Velcro. So I just put some Velcro underneath and you know you can sort of see something right there. And anyways, for the actual setup, here we are. You can see my JAMA harness is hooked up to the Paradise Elf adapter. So maybe Paradise Arcade, or is that what they're called? I, I can't remember. Anyways, uh, maybe they're the only places that have this adapter. I'm not quite sure. Here you can see we got the player one and player two kick harness installed. And this really helps out because then you don't have to mess too much with your JAMA harness. As you can see, I had to do some cut and splicing when I hooked up my Happy Fish multi-board. But for the adapter itself, real easy. Just take your JAMA harness, put it to the adapter, adapter to the game board. Take a closer look right there. Okay, there we are right there. Much clearer picture. Again, your JAMA harness to the adapter, the adapter to the board. Right here, here you got the kick harness for buttons four, five, and six, and a ground wire. Now, the one thing is probably about right here. Initially, this is how far the kick harnesses went. And as you can see, it doesn't leave much space. So what I had to do is I had to hack and slash and I had to add length to the kick harnesses. Real simple to do, basically, you know. I just cut away and then added more. Uh, cut, splice, and electrical tape. No biggie. So, again, you got the kick harnesses here. And then they just basically go to your buttons four, five, and six. Now, the one thing to consider your ground wire. The ground wire only has one terminal, one um, I loop, whatever you want to call it. So I actually cut that away and I added this daisy chain of grounds. As you can see here, to there, there, to there, there, to there, and here's an extra. Uh, where did I get this? Well, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I always recommend to have a spare JAMA harness, especially if you're collecting arcade games. Spare JAMA harness comes in handy. It allows you to get uh, plenty of spare wiring already pre-made. And basically, you just cut away what you want. And right here, I just got the, the daisy chain ground from my spare cut the original ground loop to this kick harness and I just cut splice and tape. Again, it doesn't look too fancy. Um, it's not quote unquote ultra professional, but it definitely gets the job done. And if we move over to this nest of wires, it's the same thing. Where is it? Right there. So it's a real basic setup. Everything works. Uh, the one thing that I did notice and I'm thinking it's just possibly a faulty adapter. Uh, from what I've read, I haven't heard of this happening to anyone else. Everything does work, all the switches, uh, coin, everything. However, my player two, button number one, it's not working. I press it, nothing's happening. It's not my JAMA harness because obviously I uh, played other boards and it works so it's nothing within the actual wiring itself it's nothing within the cabinet jamma harness it has to be either something on the adapter maybe there's a cut trace or maybe there's something on the actual board itself I'm really not too concerned um, 
you know, maybe later I'll try this without the adapter just to see if I can get player two button one to work. Um, I don't think it's a wide known problem. It's probably just uh, my dumb luck and it just happens to be on either this particular adapter I purchase, which you never know, there could be a cut trace or um, maybe some uh, soldering wasn't done correctly or it's actually the board. That's the only thing I found wrong with it. Um, but again, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's just something on my end and not wide known. So there you are, the basic setup of the Just Another Pandora's Box version two. Jamma harness, adapter, board, kick harnesses, which you can see right there. And they just slide in really, really nice. Let me see if I can show you. There you go, see? You just slide it back in, no problem. So there you go, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, the next video I put regarding this particular board, don't worry about the rat's nest right there, uh, it's gonna be on Super Street Fighter 2 X, the Grandmaster Challenge. So, until next time. That's it, man, game over, man, it's game over.